Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michelle. I am a cash stuffer and budgeter here on YouTube. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. So today's video, we are gonna be budgeting out my one paycheck of November. Um, it's kind of a long story. So let's go ahead, dive right in and get to budgeting. I will try to make a long story as short as I possibly can so we can get down to business. Um, but recently my mother was in the hospital for over almost two weeks. Um, she had really bad RSV and her lungs just couldn't handle it so she was in the hospital for a while and pretty much everything stopped in my life. I couldn't get any housework done. I was still going to work but the, basically I was going to work, going to the hospital and then coming home and sleeping. So I really did not have any time to budget. Um, spending was out of control, all that kind of stuff. I feel like I just need a fresh start. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be budgeting out my paycheck. Um, however, um, I'm not gonna put any money towards our mortgage um, because our other three paychecks have taken care of that. I'm just gonna basically start fresh. <laughs> um, I'm only gonna um, budget for um, I'm going to budget for everything but a mortgage amount, basically, um, because we did receive our regular four paychecks of the month, um, but I'm going to be budgeting out my smallest paycheck. That way I can just put a little bit into sinking funds, a little bit into savings, all that kind of stuff. And then in December, we will start fresh and all that jazz. So let's go ahead and dive in here. Um, I think I showed this off in my um, month ahead kind of budgeting um, video and I'm using uh, Lily Budget's uh, budget book here and I'm super excited because I just feel like I'm gonna be super organized with this and I have been loving it so far of what I've been able to use of it so we're just gonna I'm just putting this on my week one <laughs> budget breakdown because this is the this is the one and only cash stuffing of November unfortunately um, Besides, I might do my YouTube income. I might stuff that as well. So, date doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to call this November number one. And I'm going to actually increase the size there. So, that's November number one. And we are doing my income. So, Michelle, wow, this handwriting is fabulous, I know. And we're budgeting $1,020. Now, I know that's not... Um, probably enough to, to cover everything, but it is what it is. So for cashless, which is our mortgage, we usually stuff that in prop money. We are not gonna put any money into that. But I am gonna go ahead and just dive right into our envelopes here. So we have our groceries, dining out, gas, my spending and Zach's spending. Zach has been <laughs> so funny the past two weeks well, three weeks, really. He's been complaining that he hasn't received any of his cash, and I feel so bad. I am going to give him his regular $20 again, and he's going to be mad at me, but <laughs> it's just the way it is. I haven't received any spending money either. We've just kind of been using our debit card willy-nilly, so I'm going to go ahead and give Zach and me um, our $20 that we usually get. Um, for gas needs this week, I definitely need to fill up. Zach said he's okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put $60 into gas. For eating out, we've been doing that a lot lately, and I really want to avoid it. I'm going to put $40 into this and hope that that means we just eat out once. And then for groceries, I am going to do $100 because I want to have enough to, you know, buy groceries so we aren't eating out. So I'm going to total all of these envelopes up. So we're using $240 um, towards our cash envelopes. All right, for our utilities, um, I actually need to get out my binder here. So for, well, for regular utilities, we're gonna put our $50 like we normally do. Um, but phone bill was really expensive this month. It was $248, I wanna say. Where do I get to that? Come on, Michelle, you can do this. Bills. <laughs> um, our, and it did just pull, so I wanna make sure I have enough for it. 
It is, where the heck is our phone? Oh, it's under Verizon now. 286 is what it is. Um, so let me go back to week one. So we need $286. Oh, I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I am much more zoomed in because um, I'm still working on getting my, I have my computer over here and I'm, I'm working on getting a separate like desk or area to film. So I apologize for kind of the, the not as beautiful as usual. I don't know how much we have in here. 100, 20, 40, 60, 75. So we have 175, we need 286, that's $111. Um, I'm not gonna take it all out of this paycheck um, because remember I have three other paychecks from this month that I did not stuff. So if we divide that 111 by three, that's $37. I'm just gonna round it up to 40. We'll put towards our phone bill. Um, but I'm gonna leave that in the bank. So I'm gonna put 40 like this and I'm actually gonna put zero like this and then we will start fresh next time with <laughs> um and i'll take that cash back to the bank um all that jazz okay then we have monthly and yearly subscriptions i'll get back to that in just a second but for parking fee let me see here see bills get really hard because if you don't stuff them for a while you're just kind of like well what do i really have for this you know so i have a hundred dollars I need 255 so that's $155, but it's not due for four more weeks, so that's $38.75, so to kind of get back on track, I need to do, let's do 40 into this as well, and I don't need to put this back in the bank because I haven't paid that yet, so we're going to do $40 into that just to kind of boost us up again. Um, for our monthly subscription, oh yeah, let's go back to that later, car insurance. So let's go again to our bills. And for our car insurance, we have we owe 764. See, this is why I should have done our um, weekly minimums. Um, Lily has this awesome sheet here where she'll go through all, all of her categories where she has to have a certain amount by a certain time. She'll put what the current balance is, what the goal is, what she needs to save for that month, I think, and then each minimum that she needs to put in each week that month. So I aspire to be on that level. I'm not there yet. <laughs> I will be, I promise, eventually. So we're doing, so 764 is what we need in six months, and we just paid it in September. So um, October, November, December, January, February, March, I think it's gonna be due in March. So we owe 764, I believe, and we have 51, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, 270, 275. Oh my gosh, 764 minus, what did I say? 51, 150, 70, 90, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 255, 255. So we still need $509, but we still have, I'm going to count. I guess one week of November, but we have December, January, February, March, so four months. That's 127 a month divided by four paychecks, so $31. I'll just go ahead and throw 30 into it. I just want to make sure I'm not like, you know, super far off on, on some of these. So I'm going to do $30 into car insurance. Oops, I need to turn my pin back on. And then for taxes, I only stuff those during my side hustles. So I'm gonna really quickly pause the video and I'm gonna figure out my monthly and yearly subscriptions. And I'm doing that based off of this bills page. I have my yearly ones up here besides my ring subscription and then my monthly ones are down here. So to save, to spare you guys, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video and do that really quick. All right, so I'm going to do 15 towards my monthly and 12 towards my yearly. And um, let me think. Oh, these will just be stuffed together in my subscriptions envelope. I just wanted to spread them out on here so I could just kind of easily more understand them. All right, so let's total up our bills for this. Um, yeah, got to include that 40 for sure. Oh, I think it's 187, but I got distracted. <laughs> Yes, so 187 minus that $40 we are going to keep in the bank. Okay, so let's see how much we have left over so far. 
So we have $593. Let's go into savings. I'm going to do $50 into our home renovation. That's just like our home savings. I'm not doing anything special with that. Let me close up my bills binder here and we're going to get into my savings binder. Oh, well, you guys are just going to go on a fun little ride today as I bump and bump and bump you. All right, I decided to put my savings um, envelopes in my old sinking funds notebook because I thought the black stars, or sorry, the silver like holographic stars on the black was super cute and I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. Um, my other binder was kind of getting full. <laughs> so for our 52 week challenge, someone was super kind and they commented exactly how much I needed to put in here. I, I realize I am behind on this. I am gonna get caught up on Zach's next paycheck but for now, we're just going to do one of these. I realize that we are like, I need to be on like week, what is it? Probably 49 at this point, And I'm not. So we're just going to do week number 44. And then I, this might have to go into next year because I got off. So we'll do $44 for this week. And yeah. All right. Our likes challenge. I need to see how many likes I have really quick. Let me pull up my YouTube studio. Um, the most recent budget with me I put up, I think, was my budget with me for weeks three and four of October. Sorry. Yeah, October. So let me go to content, and I'm just going to refresh it really quick because it's been a while since I've been on it on my iPad. So cash stuffing, October. Okay. Yeah, it was this one. So it has 98 likes on it. That's my October paycheck three and four. So 98 likes. Which one am I on? The good notes. That's what I'm on. What did I say? It was 98. We're going to go with 98. I wasn't. <laughs> I'm a little tired. So 98 and we each one is worth 33 cents. So divided by three. So that's 32.6. So we're just going to round up to $33 for our likes challenge. For month ahead, I have this figured out here. So we discovered that I need $3,530 and um, I haven't decided how much time I'm going to give myself to save this up. Um, what I'm going to do is just stuff smaller amounts at a time and then I'll kind of maybe get a tracker or something like that. So I'm going to do $30 for this um, first week and then we'll get a plan later on so it's gonna take a while to save this up I think and then the princess budgets 1k challenge I want to do that one over again I think but for now we're just gonna leave it I think I ordered um actually a different savings challenge so I might take that princess budgets one off again so let's go ahead and total up our savings so 157 awesome and then to see how much we have left for sinking funds we have $436, and I actually have two pages of sinking funds. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's bad. So let's go ahead and start with our sinking funds up here. The only one I really care about is baby, and that's going to get $33. So I'm going to drop that off there. And then uh, I think what we'll do is I have 400 left, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Next page, <laughs> uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We have 22, oh my gosh. Okay, things that don't need stuffed. Let's go over that. We have Black Friday. I don't need to stuff Christmas. I don't have to stuff Mother's Day and Father's Day, although I do want to start. I Okay, Thanksgiving's kind of funky because we were going to host our family Thanksgiving, but then when my mom got sick, she decided we're just going to stay at her house for Thanksgiving, my parents' house, so... Um, I feel like I might not have to stuff anymore for Thanksgiving, but I'm still going to do a little bit. Halloween is so far away, we're not going to stuff it. Valentine's Day, I think we met our goal, actually. Anniversary just passed, so we're not going to stuff that. So basically on the second page, the only thing we're going to stuff is Thanksgiving, and I'm just going to go ahead and put $20 into it while I'm on this page. So, you guys, remind me, I have $20 on this page, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to stuff 10 into each of these and then we'll deduct it from our total and then see where we can add more money. So 10, 10, 10. I'm not going to keep repeating the word 10 because that's probably going to annoy you. Get 
Oh, I probably should have counted how many tens I was doing. Duh, Michelle. Oops, erased that extra line. Oh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's one hundred and forty dollars. Okay. So I have a hundred and uh, sorry, two hundred and forty-three left to work with. So um, I want to go ahead and give. Let's think. <clears throat> I want to give household just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and bump household up to $40. So that's going to be, I'm going to deduct another 30 from here. I want to give um, health a little bit more. I'm going to bump that up to 40 as well and deduct another 30. Car. I'm gonna give another $10, so that's gonna be 20. Sam's Club, I'm gonna bump up to $40 as well. So we're gonna deduct 30. Fun, I will bump up to 40. Gifts, I will bump up $10. Let's see, I do need a new pair of shoes. Um, so I'm gonna bump up clothing to uh, $30. So I need to deduct 20, right? Yeah. Zach, I'm gonna give him a little boost of an extra $10. Um, let's see here, shop small. I'm going to give an extra $20. Oh, wow. And <laughs> that was interesting. An extra $20. Let's see here. Well, I have $53 left. I think maybe I'll just do another 52 week number. So 45. So 44 and 45. Because I feel really bad about getting behind on that. And then $8 left over. We will have that go to miscellaneous. And then we shall see if my calculations are correct. So let me recalculate savings here. So now it's 202 in savings. And then for sinking funds... If 371 plus our $20 there, so that's 391. So, moment of truth, you guys. First time using this budget sheet to see if, let's see if it kept me a little more organized than my previous one. So we have 244 for our envelopes. We have 187 for our expenses, like bills and stuff. We have 391 for sinking funds and 202 for our savings, yay! Awesome, I think I'm really gonna like this budget book from Lily Budgets. Um, I know I've like said it five million times, but I just like how all-inclusive it is, and I just feel like I'm gonna get super organized. So, <laughs> all right, that is everything I have for you for today's video. Thanks for bearing with me on this one. We're gonna have a nice, awesome, fresh start in December, but before that, I am gonna go ahead and cash stuff this paycheck. I'm, I'm probably just gonna do it all in one video, I mean, I might separate it into two. We shall see. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I have for you. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.